Silver price is up yet another day, and I think this is likely due to the September inflation numbers being released recently. So we will talk about that, but the real thing I want to talk about in this video is premiums for physical silver. They're going up again. We're seeing this divergence between the spot price and the premiums on silver, and silver supply is running low. So we're going to talk about all of that. Let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so before we talk about the supply of physical silver bullion products, being lower than normal and the premiums going up likely as a result of this first let's talk about silver price is up yet again today and let's do a quick peek at the inflation numbers for september currently silver is up 31 cents it's nearing the 2350 mark and gold is up again today platinum is up palladium is up one thing to note is the gold to silver ratio is dropping so silver is going up faster than gold with a gsr at 76.85 now taking a look at inflation we can see inflation rises at 5.4 percent yearly pace in september cpi shows it stays at 30 year high the big surge in inflation this year is likely to last well into 2022 an outcome the federal reserve has only recently acknowledged broad shortages of labor and supplies are raising costs for companies and they are charging customers higher prices to maintain their profits these shortages in some cases have gotten worse and there's little end in sight chairman jerome powell recently conceded inflation would stay higher for longer than he had expected and atlanta federal reserve president rafael bostic said central bank officials should stop calling inflation transitory the upshot the fed to set to announce in november that it will begin to withdraw stimulus for the u.s economy some fed watchers also think high inflation could force the central bank to move up its first increase in interest rates but that remains to be seen a key short-term rate has been near zero since early in the pandemic or we should really say early in the panic right okay so basically to sum all of that up number one inflation is higher than it was the month before so september inflation yes it is still up number two labor is down and supplies are down i do want to talk about the silver supply being down but also yeah labor is down i mean we've known this for quite a long time it partly has to do because of all of this stimulus so that brings us to number three they might be taking away the stimulus very shortly and i'm definitely a fan of that because yes this will increase the labor participation and overall this would be better for the economy and number four we're not calling inflation transitory anymore okay you've heard it from the man himself jerome pell it's not transitory so stop saying that and this is what we've all been saying for a long time on my channel on other silver youtubers channels look this is not transitory this is here to stay it's going into 2022 and maybe beyond that and number five they might be raising the interest rates very soon so if they do raise the interest rates this could be very good for gold we could see gold go much higher and then silver follow it in 2022 and years beyond that so okay that's basically everything that's going on with inflation right now now let's pivot over to the silver supply shortage and higher premiums which are likely a result of the silver supply being down now i do want to point out when i say silver supply shortage i'm not talking about the global amount of silver that is being mined i'm talking about physical silver bullion products so the supply of these is down now you might be wondering why i'm showing off all of these tubes of buffaloes these are just generic silver rounds they are buffalo rounds they're probably the most popular round well they definitely are the most popular generic silver round but the reason i bought all these was because i wanted to buy some more silver to melt down to make fun things with right i make poured silver dragon art and lots of other assorted items 
and I went to my local refinery to buy some silver shot like I do and they were completely out of 999 fine silver shot they didn't have any at all and I prefer to melt down shot because it's the cheapest right I can get it for the lowest premium but they weren't able to supply me any so I said okay let me get some 10 ounce silver bars I'll melt down those that's no problem I don't mind melting down generic silver bars it is what it is and they said they didn't have any of those so then I said okay let me get some one ounce silver rounds I'll melt down the silver rounds no big deal and they said we're so sorry we're completely out it's gonna be several weeks before we can get any more in stock and I was very shocked because I haven't seen this since last year when everything was going on when it was super crazy out there and they were shut down I couldn't get any silver for a month or two but we're kind of starting to see this again so there definitely is a lower supply of physical silver bullion out there and it's getting harder to find so what I had to do was actually go to another shop and I was able to buy some silver rounds from them because they had some in stock they had ordered them a few weeks ago and they had just come in so I guess I kind of got lucky a lot of these are gonna hit the melting pot but that's just the way it goes you know I don't really mind melting these down I have probably melted down hundreds or thousands of buffaloes and uh, yeah it's no big deal so anyway at least I'm not melting down silver coins right but uh, regardless it just goes to show the supply of silver is down the physical supply and so that is unfortunate and because the supply is lower we are seeing some higher premiums and not just on this type of stuff we're seeing higher premiums on constitutional or junk silver or American silver eagles in fact let's take a look over at SD bullion I looked at the cheapest American silver eagles that I could find they happen to be the type twos and if you buy just 1 to 19 of these eagles you're gonna pay $33.73 per coin which is over a $10 premium because silver spot is right around 2350 at the moment so premiums are way up on eagles junk or constitutional silver is no different these 90 percent kennedy half dollars are actually ten dollars over spot and this is on sale so over 24x face value for junk or constitutional silver at the moment which seems outrageous this is actually some of the highest premiums i've ever seen on junk silver before so hopefully these will come down but they can't make any more of these there's a limited supply so the only way it'll come down is if people start selling them and nobody wants to sell right now to me this isn't really a huge surprise because the supply is down and clearly demand is going up because of all of this inflation news people know they need to be stacking and if the fed does raise interest rates then likely we will see gold go up and if gold goes up then silver will likely follow and 23 dollars silver is nothing compared to where it could go so anyway i gotta wrap up the video but before i do did you forget to smash that thumbs up in fact let's flip one of these rounds if we get heads you smash the thumbs up tails you don't you ready for this we let the fate decide huh? there we go heads all right so smash the thumbs up on the way out and also feel free to leave a comment down what do you think about everything going on with inflation premiums the low supply all that kind of stuff and lastly i do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video and i'll see you all in the next one silver dragons out Come on. Really? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs>